Peter, reminding us that it's easy to be kind, perhaps by not using glue traps. Sunshine in a bag, I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. Welcome back to One Life Radio. This is Bernadette with Diamond Gray. I've got Lexi and Avi in studio with me, and Daniel Tag. Ah, it's nice to relax a little bit. They said I was a little hyper. I think I drank too much coffee this morning. But I've got my keto pumpkin pie beside me, which I'm going to – it was so funny. So, uh, And Daniel Tag, sorry. I got, I, got, I got sideways. Daniel Tag, let me give your bio first okay. so people that are just now joining us know who's on the air with me. Uh, Daniel Tag is an orthokinetic specialist trainer at Telos Fitness Center. He is certified in orthokinetics and biomechanics of resistance training. He is a licensed massage therapist and holds belts in three different martial arts systems. And he was a wildland firefighter. Uh, he's a great trainer. He is one of the world's greatest trainers, and he's here on One Life Radio. Okay, so Avi made a joke when she. We've got whipped cream here too, because of course I'm not have pumpkin pie without whipped cream, <laughs> even though the the pie is is keto. Uh, the the whipped cream is not. So you didn't have the whipped cream, did you, Daniel? I did not. Okay, but this is I'm funny. All for it. So Diamond, I'm going to put the whipped cream on my pie, and I want you to tell me if it sounds like a cat hissing. <laughs> it wasn't as loud. Actually did a little bit. But it does. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, speaking of cats, Dean peed on one of my purses again, I found oh. out this morning. This little small one that I have that I carry when I don't want to carry my big purse, he peed all over it. Dang it. Yeah. It's like he knew. <sighs> I don't know what gets into that cat. I don't. And I didn't even yell at him. I'm just like, Dean, Dean, Dean. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. So... And it was at the beginning of the day. How do you punish? <laughs> how do you punish a cat? That is good because we always used to use vinegar for dogs. Like you hold. Well, up yeah, vinegar. white vinegar, yeah, white vinegar, it's... and I have this uh, deodorizing like doggy um, and cat like urine spray that mm-hmm. I sprayed on it. Then I let that soak. Then I brought it back in, and it's a beautiful little leather um, purse. And so I put it in the sink and just kind of sprayed it down. And then I've got it back outside in the sun. And until the pee goes away. I'll keep you on. I'll keep you updated. It's a <laughs> but, nasty smell. But, you know, that's how I started my day, which is what we're talking about mm-hmm. today with Daniel Tag. Good habits to start the day right. So what are some of the things that you do to start off your day right? First thing is I get up when my alarm goes off. That's the first thing. I read thing. that in this book. <laughs> yes. It's like don't hit okay, the snooze. That's- how insane is that? I did not know you were going to say that. Mm-hmm. I had the outline with me, but I didn't I didn't even look at it, to be honest with you, because it's Daniel Tag, and I know I'm in good hands with Daniel. And so, <laughs> um, but I, it's funny, when I was perusing through this this morning, that's one of the chapters that I, I ended up on was mm-hmm. sleep. That's one of the things I love about Jocko. Like, I, I've learned so much from him, but a lot of my habits I already had pretty set in stone before I read yeah. that and it was Look I just at you. I know right it's <laughs> it's not a pat on my back but it's just I I I sync up with him as far as like I relate with him and how he talks and Well I'm that way no about getting out of bed too. I can't stand to hit the snooze button 10 times like some people in that live in my house have done to, from time <laughs> to time. Some people set like 10 Oh alarms. my gosh. It's it's Drive the me worst. Crazy. It's the worst way you start out with defeat, 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 defeat. You right. got to start out with wins. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about my oldest daughter. When um, when she's home, she does that. Not so much anymore, but then my younger one started doing it. I'm like, listen, set the alarm clock when you want to get up mm-hmm. and then get up. I don't want to hear a little ding ling ling yep. every 10 minutes. It drives me insane. Well, and you know what's nice, too, is nowadays you have the ability to set an alarm to something that's pleasant to wake up to. I used to hate the eh, eh. I, I still hate that sound. Like oh, If, it's, they, if so it's in a annoying. movie, I fast forward because like, I, I hate that. Yeah. But now it's like I, I set my alarm to a revving motorcycle. I love motorcycles. So each morning what it's like, a great rawr, idea. Rawr. Oh my God, I'm ready to go. There you go. <laughs> nice. I love it. Okay, so yep. so so many people uh, don't do that. And okay, what are some other things that you do first thing in the morning? When I get up, like I have a set routine and I don't listen to myself. It's so easy to have those negative th- thoughts first thing in the morning saying, I'm tired. I don't want to get up, whatever it is. I don't, I don't allow, I, I don't listen to myself. I start talking to myself. You and shut like, them down? Exactly. I go, I go put on my coffee. I go take a shower, shave. Like I, I have all these routines that I just get up and I start doing them and I don't listen to myself. I'm just, I have those set routines. And then I do a gratitude journal. Um, Sean was the first one to actually give me this gratitude journal by really? Tim Ferriss. 
I don't have that one anymore, but I just do it in my head or on a piece of paper of saying, you know, thanks for five things that I'm thankful for today. Something that three things that I want to accomplish today that are on my list. That's kind of how I thought Tim of it. Tim Ferriss is, is genuinely a good guy. He's just a good guy. He's yeah. so smart. I got to um, find this on sleep because one of the, here it is. It just I got lucky. Go. Okay, so it opened up to it. But w- one of the things it talks about is getting up really early and how important that is and how you get you get a jump on the day, if you will. And you hear, you've heard that for, I mean, wasn't it Benjamin Franklin that coined the phrase, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man or a woman healthy, wealthy, or wise? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who coined it, but I I'll agree it with up. it. I believe it was Benjamin Franklin. Um, but it says, "When uh, the world is yours, when you are up before the enemy." Well, I don't know about the enemy, but you know, up before, up before dawn or right at dawn. Well, that's the. I, if I if I'm not up before the sun rises, I feel like I'm lazy. Even on the weekends really? when I sleep in, if I don't wake up before the sun rises, I just feel lazy. Isn't that not good for you? Isn't it good for you to wake up with the sun? Uh, so I think with the circadian the, rhythm, it could yeah. be good if, if you're used to doing that. But if you're used to getting up before the sun, you need to wake up the exact same time no matter what time you went to bed yeah. to help keep your circadian rhythm. Then you take a nap later on in the day. Yeah. I, I still tend to sleep in probably one to two hours later on the weekends than when I get up on the weekdays. Uh-huh. But what, whatever time you tend to get up, get up the exact same time every Be time. consistent. But, but really leaving yourself at least 30 minutes in the morning to where you're not rushed, you have time to do. Like I have like certain priorities in my life of what is the most important things. And during that 30 minutes, which for me it's my Bible study, right? So I make sure I get into my Bible study for that first 30 minutes. And then I have a full hour to do educational books and listen to sermons or you know podcasts, whatever, on my drive in each morning, which mm-hmm. I – I love that time. So setting aside enough time to get done something that's productive in your morning is huge and not be rushed. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, it's hard. And I think it's, of course, my my mornings, they should be documented. They're hysterical with all the animals. Oh, my (laughs) gosh. But, you know, it, it is it is good to follow a daily schedule, I think. Mm-hmm. For, I, I know for me that works really well. Well, you need to have a daily, daily schedule, but you also need to set time in that daily schedule. And Jocko talks about this in either Extreme Ownership or this book, I forget which. Set time for stuff that's going to come up. You can't plan every second of your day. You've got to have a good hour to two hours of time mm-hmm. to deal with whatever comes up because something's going to come up no matter what you do as living. You can't plan your day to the second. It's something's going to come up that you didn't plan for. Absolutely. And plan for that. Well, and yeah, and plan for that too, including traffic. God, mm-hmm. it's gotten really bad here in Dallas. It's like driving in LA now. But uh, uh, Aviana just handed me uh, Mark Wahlberg's schedule. Okay, so this guy, he gets up at 2.30. He wakes mm-hmm. up at 2.45 he is prayer time. 3.15 is breakfast. 3.40 to 5.15 is workout. Uh, 5.30 post-workout meal. 6 a.m. shower, 7.30 a.m. golf, 8 o'clock uh, or 8 a.m. is a snack, 9.30 cryo chamber, 10.30 snack, 11 o'clock family time meeting work calls, 1 o'clock lunch, 2 o'clock meetings and work calls, uh, 3 o'clock, oh, pick up the kids. I was going to mm-hmm. say, this guy doesn't have any kids. <laughs> no, he, he does have kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he picks up the kids. Okay, Mark, I'm, I'm glad about that. So, picks up the kids and school. And then at 3.30, uh, I'm guessing he and the kids have a snack because it says snack. Uh, workout number two, shower uh, uh, shower at 5 o'clock, workout at 4. Uh, 5.30, dinner, family time, and 7.30, bedtime. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Yep. Uh, wow. Wow. So he has. I wish I had his life. He has breakfast at three fifteen in the morning. That's insane. Why do you? Why though? So it's just. It's why can't he chill out in his life? That's how he gets stuff done. It works for him. He still gets enough sleep. He spends time with his family. It's the big thing is you gotta. You don't have to do that, right? You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to do what Jocko does. What if his kid had a football game or soccer game? He can't go to bed at seven thirty. Yeah. So that's where you have to be flexible. Accommodate. That's where you had, and I'm sure he doesn't follow that every single day because there's day where he's on set where his schedule's going to completely change. But that when he has his ideal day, that's his typical day. Yeah. So Uh. make a plan. And if you don't, if what is it? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Is Mark Jenny's uh, husband? No, that's no. Uh, the other one. The other Donnie. one. Okay, J- mm-hmm. Jenny McCarthy. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. But, she was married. She's married to one of the brothers. We, yeah, one of the Wahlbergs. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. okay, but you know that's something that The Rock does too. He gets up. Dwayne Johnson gets mm-hmm. up at least four hours before whatever his day's going to start at, and he does you know an hour of lifting, an hour of cardio, eats, has some downtime, and then he goes to whatever he needs to go do. Like, it's just, when you get up, like Jocko says, he likes to get up. He, when he was in the military, he he thought there's this this guy somewhere in a cave training, 
right? And mm-hmm. he was going to eventually meet that guy, and it's going to come down to one of them surviving. He's like, I want to get up and start training before that guy. So mm-hmm. I had, when the time came, I knew I was prepared. Yeah. And for me, that's, I don't, I don't go into that, right? But for me, I like the satisfaction of knowing I'm up before most people. Like, I feel like that's yeah. a win for me. And then um, uh, Admiral McCraven, he did the UT. He was actually the dean or something at UT, but he did a commencement speech there a few years ago. He's a former Navy SEAL as well. Mm-hmm. And he was a general, or uh, excuse me, admiral. And he talked about starting the day off with a win, with a little win, right? So one of the things he said to do is make your bed every day. That oh, way, I do that. I that do way, that. And no, I make my kids do that, too. There we go. That way, no matter what happens throughout the rest of the day, you have a win. And for me, the biggest win is not hitting the snooze. When you just pop out of bed and start doing it, that's a huge win on the day. Well, there's a lot, lot, a lot more we're going to talk mm-hmm. about here. A lot, a lot. Stay tuned, everyone. You're listening to One Life Radio. I can't tell where the journey will end. But I know where to start. They tell me I'm too young to understand. Hello, I'm Ali McGraw for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Our animal companions rely on us, especially during a natural disaster. If you're forced to evacuate your home, do not leave your animals behind. Visit helpinganimals.com. Consider this an invitation to relax and feel the stress melt away with a Sunlighten sauna. Sunlighten is the number one choice for home and commercial infrared saunas. Their three-in-one infrared technology allows you to customize each session to you. Naturally de-stress, detoxify, and be heart healthy. Relieve pain, purify your skin, and increase energy. A Sunlighten sauna is a place to heal, a place to reflect, a place to invest in you. Visit them at sunlighten.com. Hey, this is Sean Wells of the International Society of Sports Nutrition. One Life Radio is proud to partner with the ISSN. The ISSN is the world's leading scientific organization dedicated to the science of supplements and sports nutrition. For their latest conferences and events, go to the ISSN.org. That's the ISSN.org. Hi, everyone. This is Bernadette. Do you know why I love Paleo Magazine? Paleo Magazine was founded with the purpose of providing readers with the information they need to live strong, vibrant, healthy lives. They are dedicated to partnering with leaders in the paleo community to spread the knowledge of ancestral health principles without the influence of big pharma or big agriculture. Paleo Magazine. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, or visit them at paleomagonline.com. That's paleomagonline.com. Here's the dill pickle. Squatty Potty works. It's awesome. Find yours at your local Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, or SquattyPotty.com. That's SquattyPotty.com. Sun Warrior believes that plants provide the cleanest and most powerful foods, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and phytonutrients. Our bodies crave real foods, especially in this age where we heavily process everything we eat, stripping out all of the benefits and nutrition well before we have a chance to even use them. Illuminate your body, mind, and the planet with Sun Warrior. To learn more, visit them at sunwarrior.com. That's sunwarrior.com. Did you know, when depressed, sheep hang their heads and avoid company? But if content, they socialize and wag their tails like puppies. Rams lean against stone walls so that other sheep can stand on their backs to reach high grasses. Sheep recognize each other by facial features, and when shown photographs, they can remember at least 50 other sheep and 10 human beings, even if they haven't seen them for two years. At Poplar Springs Sanctuary, you'll meet rescued sheep, like Fanny, who is found tied to a mailbox, and Adam, who escaped ritual sacrifice. Visitors' faces echo Anatole France's words, until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. This is Ingrid Newkirk with Peter, reminding us that it's easy to be kind, perhaps by choosing faux fleece. Jitterbug. 
Welcome back to One Life Radio. This is Bernadette with Diamond Gray, Lexi Brinkley, Aviana Perrientos, and Daniel Tag. If you're just now joining us, Daniel Tag is an orthokinetic specialist, a trainer at Telos Fitness Center next door to the iHeartMedia Studios here in Dallas, Texas. He is certified in the uh, in biomechanics.